Hey, hey, hey everyone! It's Brenda with Reese by Busy Bees Custom Creations. It's Monday, 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 so you know what that means. We are live in the hive. Hey Pat! So tonight, hey Cheryl, we are going to be making the um, patriotic kit that I have in my shop. Um, I will get the link for you guys, and that way you guys have it. So what are you guys up to? Okay, so I will pin that. So if anybody's interested in that, um, of course, it can't, it doesn't let me. Why is it not letting me? I don't know. I don't, there it is. Okay. In the comment. All right, so that is there. How are you guys all doing today? So, um, hello, hello, hello. This is what comes in the kit. It is um, the sign, the wreath form, 25 pipe cleaners. You get these two picks. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Helen. How are you? I know. And four, you get one 10 yard full roll of this ribbon, and then five yards of each of these ribbons. Okay, and then you get this lovely mesh. Hey, Johnny, how are you? So, the first thing we're going to do is create our wreath form. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take three pipe cleaners. And I cut them in half. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Mary Ellen. So I just take them and I cut them in half because I use these for the half pipe cleaners. Hello, hello, hello. All right. So I have my glue gun on. And what I do is I take my full pipe cleaner. I put it right here. And then I glue a little dab of glue there. Hello everyone. Hey Kathy. And then I take a half pipe cleaner and I put it, whoops, I put it on the same crossbar, but I put it on the third ring right here. Okay. And I just put a little dab of glue there. And if you don't want to use the glue, you don't have to. It's totally up to you. Hey Janet, how are you? And then I take a full pipe cleaner and I put it between the two crossbars. Hey, Barbara, on the third row. And I just kind of eyeball it right in the middle. Not to be perfect. Hey, Nancy, how's it going? And then I just do that in each section. And that's how I make my pipe, my um, own frames. Now, if you want to do it differently, you are more than welcome to do it any way you like. This is just what I found works for me. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Janet. So this is what I like to use. Hey, Joanne. So I do still have a couple of these kits left, and I pinned the um, link down uh, for the pinned comment. So if um, pin post. So if you guys want one, go ahead and grab them. Hey, Shirley. So, what have you guys been doing? My weekend was a blur. My Monday was a blur. How about you guys? You know how that goes. Saturday we spent, um, hey Ann, we, my two grandsons, well, three of my grandsons. Oh, I know. Cheryl, I burnt myself so many times with, with this glue gun, it's not even funny. You have to be so careful. I have so many burn marks. Um... So we went to their baseball games, then we had some friends over for dinner Saturday night, and then Sunday we got up and went to church, and then my, um, oh my gosh, it was so cute, you guys. Um, oh, thank you, Judy. Hey, Marie. Um, my two, my five-year-old grandson, six inches of snow. Woo. Try going out and coming back in, Peggy. Um. My two grandsons, ages five and two and a half, my daughter-in-law is a runner. She's done marathons and that kind of stuff. So there's a park near us that um, I guess they, they do running. So it was so, it was so cute. You should have seen them. Half the kids were screaming live. 
Um, the other two, you know, half of them were running, half of them happy. You know, it's just it's just funny. I used 12 full pipe cleaners, and then I used um, I cut three pipe cleaners in half for the other three. So that's like I said, that's just how I do it. Now, 25 pipe cleaner pipe cleaners come in the kit, so it's plenty for you. I have Diane, yes. Um, I just don't use it too often. So, um, yeah, I have used one of those. <laughs> Kathy, I can't wait to see you this weekend. Although, I don't think I'm going to be able to take off on Friday, Kathy. I talked to my son. We're super swamped, and I don't think I'm going to be able to take off. So, it may have to be Saturday, Kathy which I'm super bummed about, but that's my life these days. That's my life. Yeah, that wreath, I love that sign you made, Kathy. That was really cute. Kathy's coming into town this weekend. I'm so excited. Hey, Sharon, how are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't forget, please like and follow my page if you're new to my page. And, um... Please, if you want live alerts. Yes, definitely Saturday. Oh, thanks, Judy. Thank you very much. Yes, definitely Saturday. I know my grandkids have games, but they're going to have games every Saturday for the next, I don't know how many. So, and then it's my daughter and son-in-law's anniversary on the 15th. So she wants to go away and wants me to watch the kids. And it's just a little crazy right now. I know. I'm so excited. Thank you, Janet. Thank you for sharing. Yes, spread the love, please, please, please. Do you get like that, you guys? You just are so overwhelmed. Like, you have so much going on. You're, you're so overwhelmed. That's how I am today. Oh, awesome, Deb. Hey, Pat. You can always catch the replay, Deb. No worries. Yeah, I'm just having one of those days. So, oof. So, y'all pray for me. It's crazy. Well, that'll be fun, Deb. You'll have fun with the grandbabies. It will be fun. All right. Oh, no. Yeah, how is your hand, Pat? My sister, Pat, her cat bit her. All right. So, that's the frame. <laughs> no problem, Deb. Uh, or Kathy. I, I'm telling you, I'm losing it. I'm losing it, you guys. All right, I'm going to put this to the side. Um, so that's that. And it's pretty much ready to use. I mean, I could use it right now, but I wanted to... I don't always show you guys. I don't think I've ever showed you guys how I cut my mesh. So I thought, well, this is a kit, so I'll show you guys how I do that. So let me get this out of the way. You are, Rosie. That's exciting. Congratulations. So what is your, what's your business name going to be, Rosie? All right, so let me move that out of the way, move this out of the way. Okay, so what I do, uh, of course, I use my handy-dandy mesh roller here. And I've already cut a bunch of them, so I only need a couple more. So I just put it under this. I hope you guys can see that roller. And I cut them to 20 inches. So if you cut them to 20 inches, you will have enough for 18 pieces of mesh, which is how many pipe cleaners I have on there. So you will have plenty to do on the kit. So hopefully. Whoop. Hopefully, hopefully, you have enough. Oh, well, yeah. Hey, Susie Brown. Girl, I am as, I wish I could have called you today. I'm having one of those days, Susie, and I'm like, I know Susie knows exactly what I'm feeling. Girl, you've been killing it with those mesh rollers. Susie Brown is the inventor of the mesh rollers. Go, Susie. Susie's been killing it. All right, so you guys know, yep, I'm doing the ruffle. And so what I always do is, if you see this one, and hopefully they don't all fall, the difference between this one and this one, this one is a real loose, and this one's real tight. So I always um, have the, 
tighter ones on the bottom. No, Carol, but I do have an affiliate link for the mesh roller for Miss Susie Brown. So I will post that here. And if you want to get one, I get a couple pennies. Not a whole lot, but I get a couple pennies and every little bit helps. So if you want one of the mesh rollers, I highly recommend them. They are wonderful and Susie is wonderful. Um, the half pipe cleaners I put on where the crossbars are on the third row. Okay, so that's where I use the half um, pipe cleaners. And I don't put ribbon in my half pipe cleaners. I know it confuses everyone. It's just kind of how I do it. Um, so, I don't know. It's just kind of how I've always done it. I know, I love this mesh. Don't you love this mesh? Ugh. All right, so what I do is I just tuck that under, and then you can see... It's easy because this has a row you can follow and you want to kind of stay centered if you can okay if you want to hold have something to hold it down it kind of looks like a little bow tie and then I'm going to start on the bottom row hey Donna oh no problem and tie that in okay and then I'm just going to keep going around with the tight ones first yeah, if you, you will not be disappointed getting one of these mesh rollers because I use it to cut my ribbon, I use it to cut my mesh, I use it for everything. So, so like I said, when you do your ruffles, you kind of want to stay somewhat down the middle so that your ruffle stays even. I tuck each end under just a little bit so that you don't get the, um, hey Michelle, so you don't get an uneven ruffle. Hey Darlene. Okay, and then I just place the next one and tie it in. Now, this is where, I don't know, I'm weird, I just do it differently. There's half pipe cleaners, okay? I don't put anything else in them. So what I do is I take them and I just tuck those pipe cleaners under because I know I'm not going to put anything else in them. So it's just tucked out of the way, okay? And that's just how I do it. If you, you know, don't want to do it that way, that's totally up to you. There's no wrong way in wreathing. So, oh, I know I love this mesh. I really do. It's a really nice mesh. So, and like I said, I mean, if I do the ruffle method and I'm using the basic mesh, I will do the 30 inches. But with mesh like this, you're going to get a nice coverage. So, throw your mesh on the floor and it got all messy. And, oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. All right. So again, I just tuck a little bit of the edge under, about a half an inch to an inch, so that you don't get that rough edge showing. And then I just try to stay in the middle and ruffle it up. And then it looks like that. And then again, I just tuck it in like so. And you want to tighten that, you know, when you're doing this now, like that half pipe cleaner. Hey, Pat, I do, you know, do it a few times because I know I'm not going to stick anything else in it. And I tuck that under. And like I said, that's just a preference that I um, have. So you can do it however you like to do it best. Yes, Judy, don't ever get it there. Hobby Lobby mesh is not good. Hey, Rose. No, Pat, I just went back to work part-time, but it's right now, right now it's about five to six hours a day. So it's between that and this and the grandkids. I'm kind of on overload, to be honest, you guys. I'm having a really rough day today. Oh, no problem, Susie. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good one, Susie. Um, yeah, you know, you just have those days. And uh, today's just one of them. But yeah, so, I mean, I, um, you know, I haven't worked in a while, but my husband lost his job, so I got to do everything I can do, and so it's a lot, but Lord knows what we need. Um, this mesh is, let me see, I kept, it's just a poly deco mesh with the um, thing running through it, so... 
yeah, it's got this nice wide metallic stripe, which makes it awesome. Like I said, I do have these kits available in my shop. So please go get yourself one. Hey, Marianne, how are you? I said this one is easy. You can stay right down that middle. I'm going to push that out of the way. And move on to the next one. Hey, Maybelle. That's a pretty name. Yes, the mesh goes on all of the pipe cleaners. Yep, the mesh goes on all of them. I'm working on the third row, not the fourth row. So I put it. I put my mesh on the very first row and the third row of that ring. So I put it on this one and then this one. Oh, thanks, Tanya. Hey, Colleen, how are you? Hey, from Pittsburgh. My husband's heading to Pittsburgh this weekend to see his mom. I'm placing them side to side, yes. Oh, thanks, Marianne. You know if you would. I would love to, yes, absolutely, Marianne. I'd love to see the things people. Thank you, Judy. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, the Lord knows what we need. And some days, you know, some days you're the windshield and some days you're the bug. You know what I mean? <laughs> and today I feel like the bug. <laughs> but you just got to know it'll get better. And with the Lord's help, it will. I'm just, I'm just, yeah, I'm really emotional today. It's just crazy. I'm just one of those days. What you going to do? Got to keep trudging along. You know, it's funny because in Sunday school, um, hey, Pat, we're learning about um, Job, you know, and everything Job went through. And I think, whew, I'm not even near what Job went through, and I'm struggling. I don't know how he did it. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's just been one of those things. Oh, thanks, Judy. Well, you know, you can either curl up in a ball and let it get to you or just keep on plugging. <laughs> Kathy, you're so sweet. Hey, Audrey, no worries. No worries. Don't worry, be happy. I know, right, Pat? It is one of those days. Telling you, like right before I come on, I'm like, oh my word, it's just one of those days I feel like I want to cry all day. <laughs> but I knew if I come on here, you guys would cheer me up. So I was like, nope, I'm going. I'm going. Yeah, it'll work out. It'll be fine. It really will. It's just one of those things. It'll make you stronger in the end. Hey, Patricia, how are you? From Florida. Oh, today it was beautiful today. It was like 75 degrees today. It was really nice. It was so pretty. Didn't get outside much, but that's okay. Oh, I know. It, it really is. You guys have no idea how much your support means to me. I mean, it really, you're really a blessing to me. So I really do appreciate you all. Hey, Muriel. Oh, thanks, Kathy. So, no, you just, I mean, we all have them. We all have these days. Just move on up. I love this mesh. Isn't it pretty? Oh, Mary Ellen, that's terrible. Now, see, that's something to crawl under. Yeah, uh, that, yeah. But, you know, the Lord gives you the strength. Hey, BJ, how are you? That's what I say. I know it can be a lot worse, so I have no right to complain. Oh, awesome, Judy. That would be wonderful. We would love to have you.
Exactly, Deb, right? Sometimes you feel like it, but you know he doesn't. Oh, freezing rain. Ugh. Um, I got the hey Linda, how are you? I think this mesh came from huh, I don't remember either Sims Pottery, my or wholesale place or craft outlet, one of those. Oh, thanks, May. All right, so last one on the bottom. And then we are going to move to the top. Uh, the mesh was cut to 20 inches. Oh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh, you want to see my rock? Hope. Hope. Um, Janice, the group is $14.99 a month, and we meet on Tuesday nights, and sometimes we do live Zoom calls, sometimes we make a wreath together, sometimes we do bows, sometimes it just kind of depends what people are asking for, because I always say it's your group, not my group, so it's really what kind of everyone wants to do. And we just get on and we share and we learn how to make stuff. And one of the things I like to do, you have that rock? One of the things I like to do with my group is I'll pull out a sign and then um, <laughs> um, I pull out a sign and then I have them pick out like, because a lot of people, what they struggle with is picking out the ribbon, right? So what I do is I will walk around my mess of a room and I have them decide what mesh we're going to use and that kind of stuff so you kind of learn you know the basics but yet you know other things too so <laughs> you're funny hey Faye yes if you don't already get an alert when I'm live type in live and then make sure that you um, follow the instructions that it tells you to do. Also like and follow my page so that you do get those. Oh, thanks, Judy. Yes, and that's right. Thank you, Ju Thank you, Janet. Um, and any member of my group gets 10% off anything in my shop. And I always try to um, let them know about anything first so they get first dibs on anything. So there's a few perks. To being in the group. Hey Chris, how are you? So again, I just tuck a little bit under and try to stay in the center. Now these aren't quite as rolled up, so I don't need that rock to hold it. So a couple more to go. Let me see. Oh, there we go. I'm like, wait a minute. But I do, I love this mesh. So there is, like I said, a few more of these kits left in my Etsy shop. And that link is, um... <laughs> now I get it, Cheryl. We do have a good time. We have a, we have a great time in the group. It's like a family. Hey, Beverly, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Thank you all. Thank you all. It's Monday. And we are live in the hive. Thank you. Yeah, it's it was a beautiful day here. Hey, Sue. Hey, Anna. Hey, Doris. You do want to kind of, you know, move that mesh around to get it to sit nicely. But look how pretty that is. I love it. Like I said, if you cut your mesh to 20 inches, you should get 18 pieces out of it, and that's enough for um, for the wreath. Now, I usually, I know, isn't it? Hey, Paulette, how are you? Oh, I'm sorry you're in pain. I pray for you. Yeah, the ruffle method really does it good, and it, honestly, 
I don't think it needs the 30 inches when you use a nice good mesh. You know, now if it was the basic mesh, I would probably, you know, cut it 30 inches and then, um, oh, a foot of snow on Wednesday. Holy Toledo. Yes. Yep. Judy, the discount on your kit helps with the postage. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. This is perfect mesh for Christmas. Yep. Yep. I definitely use this mesh a lot at Christmas. All right. This is the last one here. Okay, so I'm just going to stick that one in. No, I do not, Faye. I do, um, I live in Pennsylvania, Tanya. You bought 10 inch mesh at Sims? Why is that a bummer? All right, so we have all of our mesh in there now. So I'm going to pull those pipe cleaners up, make sure I know where all of them are. Sherry Lynn, if you use the 20 inches, if you cut it to 20 inches, you will get um, 18 pieces out of it. So it will um, do the whole wreath. If you cut them to 30 inches, you will need a, um, a roll and a half. Okay. Hello from Pittsburgh. All right, so this is the ribbon that comes with it. You get one 10 yard roll of this and five yards of each of these. So what I'm going to do is we're going to use, we're going to alternate the ribbons. Yes, it's in a 14 inch wreath, wreath frame. Okay, so we're going to do 12 inch pieces and you can also put these on here you want to. It's a little tight because I, I wind them tight when I do it to cut them. And like I said, you just, I'm about an hour from Lancaster. Yep, I'm not far. I'm about an hour from Lancaster and an hour from Philadelphia. I'm kind of right smack in the dab in the middle. Two, three, four, five, six. Now you only need six of each because oh okay i was wondering I'm like what are you talking about oh that's right you did get yeah you did get 10 inch mesh um all right so i cut them to 12 inches and i'm going to dovetail them you only need six of each because we're going to alternate the different ribbons and then we're going to make a bow so we have that one there whoops I'm going to put this one on. I shouldn't curl them so tight, I guess. Um, nope, Janice, what I normally do, I'm, I'm terrible at planning, to be honest. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm terrible at planning. Yes, I do, Darlene. I do, I do, I do. Let me get that for you if I can find my mouse. No problem, Kathy. The link for the... Let me find it, let me find it, let me find it. I know, I just put it on here. Kathy, take a chance. Oh, here we go. The Perfect Tales is here. And that's where you go to order the perfect tails. Um, no, what do you mean you unravel them? Hey Nellie, so that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nellie, tonight I am making my um, patriotic wreath kit that I have for sale in my Etsy shop. You for sharing. Hey Teresa, how are you? And I'm just dovetailing the ends. Okay. 
So like I said, you only need six of each because we are alternating how we're putting them on here. If I can get my finger in there, then I can see. No problem. <clears throat> Come on. There we go. We'll make it easier. But just using the mesh roller just makes it so much easier than having to... Um, you know, have them roll around and get all over the place. So, all right. Yep, I'm just dovetailing them. Um, every once in a while they do, but these are pretty good scissors, so I really have not had a problem with them. Three, four, five, and six. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, but these, these really don't, um, you know what, I have not made any yet, but I, I want to order some stuff to make some military ones, because I love those. My son was in the Army. My son was in the Army. He was in boot camp when 9-11 happened. And he did end up being in Iraq for 14 months. Praise the Lord, he came out of that safe and sound. Ready? Love this mat. Rolls of ribbon. Okay. Last one here. Thank you, thank you for sharing. Okay. Alright. Now this is the last ribbon we're going to use. No problem, Deb. So all these fun tools. Oh, thank you, Deb. That was a long four years, let me tell you. So that, that's four years I don't ever want to repeat. <laughs> you made an Air Force one? Yeah, I, I should have got some of those signs when I was down at Sims. If I need lived down at Sims, I'd be dangerous, though. All right, so let's get our wreath out again. Okay, there we go. So like I said, these are the four we're going to use. We are going to put this one and this one together. And then I'm going to put this one and this one together. And that's just what I'm going to do. If you don't want to put those two together, I know, Kathy. Girl, I wish I could come down there this week. <laughs> but life is in the way. All right, so I'm going to put them together. Like I said, I cut these to 10, 12 inches. Lay them right on top of each other. Fold it in half. Put a crease in there. And I'm just going to gather it. And I'm going to kind of work those tails. So you see how they kind of are curling already? And I'm going to put it right in here. Now, um, Judy, it's totally up to you. I got the collapsible one, the three and the um, the one that's collapsible. I love it. Now, you know, do you need the collapsible one? Maybe not. Um, but I like it because you can cut more than one roll of mesh at a time. Like what I like about it is you can put three rolls of 10 inch mesh on here and cut all three rolls at one time. So it does save you time. You can put, I don't know how many umpteen rolls of ribbon on it. Um, but it's totally up to you. I mean, if you're just starting out and you want to buy the single one for now, that's fine. Um, I started out with the single one and then moved up to this one. So, you know, do what you can afford. Don't overextend yourself. Okay. Oh, I'm loving these ribbons. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so that's the ribbons. Look how cute.
Now, also, this wreath is just, you did, Chris? Oh, I know, I love mine. Um, this is just a starting off point. Like, if you want to, if you want to add mesh tubing to it, you can. If you want to add other ribbons, you can. Um, it's totally up to you. Oh, no problem. The wreath form is... I gave that one away, Kathy. That was my um, one of my giveaways, was the single mesh roller, or else I would. I would, girlfriend. Yes, the ribbon is just on the full pipe cleaners. I don't put the ribbon in the half pipe cleaners. Again, that's just a preference that I have. Um, and you can, you know, you can put them on all of them if you want. I just choose to only put them on the um, half one, or the full ones. The kit is fifty dollars. I know, right, right, Kathy. Okay, so I kind of curl them a little bit so they sit nicer in your wreath. Also, in my group, I do more one-on-one -on -one training, like the um, camera angle is different. It's more like you really kind of get in there and see what I'm doing. Um, if you need help, you know, additional help, I'll do a Zoom call with you and kind of help you with what you're struggling with. So it's a little more one-on-one -on -one guidance that way. <clears throat> yeah, I love this kit. So cute. So what do you guys have planned for the rest of the week? Anything fun? I'll be working every day. And then seeing Kathy on Saturday. Yay! I'm excited. I'm excited. We have to figure out what we're going to do, girlfriend. You guys there? Are my froze? Or are you guys being awful quiet? I don't know. Did I lose you? Did I lose you? Yay! Just work. I know, right, Cheryl? <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. I know you're on vacation, Janet. Hey, Beverly. Well, I'm glad I didn't lose you guys. Facebook keeps dropping. Ugh. Facebook can be such a pain sometimes. Oh, no. Oh. That's, I'll be praying for you, Tanya. I, ooh. Hey, Michelle. How are you? How are those grandbabies? I'm glad you guys are still here. <laughs> You're trying to make a bigger bow? I, yes, absolutely, Heather. I have a plethora of wreaths to choose from. Yes, ma'am. Anything you see me make, um, I sell, and I have a bunch in my Etsy shop. So if you need a wreath, absolutely. Hey, Patricia, how are you? Thanks for popping in. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know, when you guys are too quiet, I wonder what's going on. Like, where are you guys at? Hey, Sharon, how are you? My sister Sharon is in Minnesota, and she posted, was it yesterday or today? 
Um, the kit is $50. She said they were getting like six inches of snow or something in Minnesota. And I'm like, whoo, no, thank you. No snow, no more. Thank you, Susan. The solid red, that's like the linen. That is, I have, I have them for sale in my um, Etsy shop, the solid yellow, red in 50 yard rolls. Oh, really? Yeah, well, I guess you can't complain if it's been nice up until then, right, Janet? Hey, Carla! Okay. Absolutely, yeah. If you guys make a kit, post it on here. And show me. I would love to see it. Hey, Beverly. Oh, I know. That dreaded pollen. Where all the allergies come out. Thanks, Deb. I know. I'm loving this kit. Loving, 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 loving. And then we're going to make a bow, put the picks on, yay! I do not spray my wreaths, no ma'am, I do not. Oh, where in Virginia do you live? Yeah, that is a problem. Oh no, a sinus infection and bronchitis? Oh, you poor thing. Mary Ellen, I do have some other rolls of ribbon if you want to buy them. Some of those additional rolls. I think I have one set left. Um, Lily, the kit comes with everything that you see here. It comes with the mesh. The frame, the pipe cleaners, the ribbon. Did I cut one too many? Oh, let's cut one too many. The ribbon, um, the pick. So everything you see me using tonight, Lily, comes in the kit. <clears throat> I must have cut one too many of that one. Oh, well. I was not paying attention. Christiansburg, okay. All right, so this is the last ribbon streamer. Then we will put the sign on, and then we'll do the picks, and see what else we have going here. Okay, so, isn't that pretty? Oh, it's gonna be on a chicken coop. Oh, that's funny. All right, so we have our sign here. It comes in plastic. So we want to cut this off. Oh, here it is, Sherry Lynn. Here's the sign. Isn't it pretty? Something a little different. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I liked I really liked the clouds in it. It just kind of adds a little different look to it. Okay, so then we're gonna use um, some more of our pipe cleaners. Okay, and we're just going to wrap it around here. No problem, Carla. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, when you place the sign, you don't want to, um, like, pull it too tight in your wreath. Oh, thanks, Judy. Because it, um, oh, that is funny, Shirley. Therapy chickens. I've never heard of therapy chickens. 
So I'm just using the pipe cleaners to put in all four of the um, things here. Now if you don't want to use the pipe cleaners, you can use wire, you can use whatever you want. Okay, so then I'm going to place it like right there because we're going to make a bow for up there. So I'm going to feed this through the... Oh, thanks Marie. I do try. I try to, you know, get in and get done because I know you guys have busy lives just like I do. Okay, so when you put your pipe cleaners in, you don't want to pull it so that it sinks the sign into your wreath. You just kind of want to set it in there. And if you have to tighten it, you can tighten it, but you don't want to put it too tight. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, I did. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Debbie. Oh. And how I did that. <sighs> yes, it's a breast cancer wreath. Yep. Goodness gracious. <laughs> yeah, a ribbon addiction is, uh, you know, crazy. Yep, I haven't, I don't think I posted that one yet. I love that wreath. Hopefully that won't. Um, oh, you love your 4 and one I do love my 4 and one too. Oh, you know what? I'm going to have to get a Band-Aid. Hold on, guys. I don't want to bleed all over this wreath. Let me grab a Band-Aid. Hopefully, I have one right here. Oh, what I do. <laughs> I'll just put some tape over it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if it was that or what it was. I don't know. I'll just put some tape over it for now, and then I'll get a... Uh, I don't want to bleed it on the wreath. There we go. Okay. All right. Okay, so like I said, you don't want it too tight because you don't want it to pull into... Um, the 4-in-1 comes from probothehand.com. I thought I had um, band-aids in here, but I don't know what I did with them. All right, and then you just want to pull your, your um, ribbons down so they're not stuck underneath there. I know, right? It's so easy to just poke yourself and thank you right, so I'm just feeding it through there I'm going to feed this one through there okay and once you get it fed through you can just go ahead and like I said you don't want to tie it tight because it'll pull it into the um, wreath and you don't want it like stuck down into the wreath and I try to put them around a crossbar so that they don't slide left to right and that kind of stuff okay all right so now see how it's nice and it's not going anywhere okay so you can pull your ribbon out from underneath there Get that going. Here it is. Okay. I will show you what a four in one is. We will use that, oops, sorry, to make the bow. All right, there we go. Okay. All right, so that is our wreath, and now we're going to make a bow. And this is the 4-in-1 tool. It is from Probo the Hand. And, hey, Janice. And it's just like the, um, the Easy Bow Maker. It's very similar to the Easy Bow Maker. Okay. But it can hold a 50-yard roll, which is what I really like. So, I'm going to use, I'm just going to keep my 
um, ribbon on here. Although, I kind of want to flip it over. And we're going to start with this. So what the 4-in-1 tool is, is um, it's an, like the Easy Bow Maker. Um, and you can measure your ribbon out, okay, just like the Easy Bow Maker. It also, like if you're making... Um, like if you're making a bunch of ruffles, you can use it to hold your mesh. Um, you can also use it like some people curl their ribbons around here to cut it. I can't do that. Never could. I know. I love this thing. All right. So I'm going to turn it around this way. I don't really need that, but okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dovetail the end here. Okay, all right, and then I'm just going to measure it out to the end of the board. I'm going to gather it together, stick it in here. I'm going to put my tail down here. I'm going to twist so that the pretty side of the ribbon is facing up. I'm going to go to the six, and I'm going to put that down in. I'm going to twist it and get the pretty side up again. Okay. Oh, sorry guys. But yeah, Probo the Hand sells this. I think they're $14.99 or something like that. Okay, get it together and twist. Hey Ruby, how are you? Okay, so we have one loop on each side. We're going to do two more with this. Okay, we're going to do the twist so that we get that pretty side facing up. You, you did? Yeah, I like it. And make another one. I should get it. Oh, I you might be able to. I know you can get the probe of the hand on Amazon, so you probably can get this on pro on Amazon. Okay, so we have two loops now, and we're going to go for the third loop here. Okay. And just twist. And kind of with this, you well that's why this is nice because the pegs do not pop out um using this one you build your bow from the bottom up the um, pro bow you build it from the top down the mesh holder oh no i'm sorry Faye. the mesh holder i'll give you that link again if i can get my mouse to work Here is the link for the mesh roller. And you can just click right on this link when the live's over. A lot of times, oh, with your Pro Bow? Yeah. All right. So I'm just going to match the ribbon tails and cut that one off. Okay. So we have three loops on each side using that. Okay. Then I'm going to use, I need to take it off of here because way it is. Did I cut that off? Yeah, I think so. Just because the way I put it on to cut it. So. Alright, so I think, whoops, I'm going to use this one with the stripes. Oh yeah, I don't I didn't know if it was on Amazon or not. Okay, again I'm going to bring the loops out to here going to twist it to get the pretty side up. I'm going to do two loops at the six inches. Okay, you're going to twist it so you get that pretty side up. Again, out to the six inches and twist. Okay. So we're going to put a loop in between each of these loops. 
right, we're going to go out to the six again and twist. And out to that loop. Okay, and then we have that. All right, so we have two loops there, and we can cut that one off. All right, okay. All right, then we're going to use this one. Again, we're going to dovetail the ends. And we're going to put, take it out to the edge there. We're going to gather it together. We're going to put it in. Okay. And let's see. We're going to go to the five this time. Okay, so all the other loops were at the six. We're going to go to the five. Okay, twist it to get the pretty side facing up. Sorry guys, I don't know what she's barking at. Five and twist. Let's see if we can get three loops out of this one. Go to five and twist. and twist so basically what I'm doing is I'm just creating a three two three and then we'll see hopefully I'll get three out of it we will see if not we'll do a three two two okay all right Go to five I think we're gonna do it okay and twist Look at that. That's perfect. All right. Look at that. We still had some left over. Okay. And then the last one here. We're going to use that red. I'm going to dovetail the ends. Hey, Faye, how are you? Same thing, Take that tail, we're going to go to the five, we're going to do two loops on this, I know right, go to the five, pop that a little bit, okay, we're going to do that too. Oh, absolutely, Judy. She could be barking at anything or nothing. Hey, Lacey, how are you? Okay. Oop, caught on something there. All right. So we have three loops, two loops, three loops. And then I'm going to come back in, since we have some of that left over. And I'm going to do that little button loop in the middle. So I'm just going to take what's left over here. I'm going to dovetail the ends. And I'm just going to put it in with both of the little tails. Like that on one side. Okay. And then that's going to create that little button loop in the middle. Thank you for sharing. Alright, so then we're going to take our zip tie and we're going to put it through and you want to make sure it goes all the way under all of the ribbons okay and you just want to tie it it looks bigger oh it might be yep that loop is thank you you don't want to do it tight because you want it to be loose oh harley davidson i don't know all right, so let me get 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this and I'm going to bring this to the back. Okay, tighten it a little bit more, not a lot. I'm going to take two of my pipe cleaners, which you have left over, and I'm just going to twist those together. I'm going to use this to attach this to my wreath. Okay, I'm going to push that through there. So that's how I'm going to attach it. All right. Now, before I, oh no, before I tighten that all the way, I'm going to get my bow the way I want it. So now what you want to do is you want to go through and fluff all of those loops out, okay? Get them where you want them, so that those three right there, you want to, and there's two in the middle, and really fluff it out, and then those three, Get these two where you want them and then that button one and do the same thing with this side and I want all my tails there down facing the bottom okay and you just kind of want to before you tighten it up good you kind of want your ribbons where you want them to be because once you tighten that zip tie um, it's really hard to move that around. Okay, All right, so then I'm going to tighten that up really good. <sighs> um, no, unless I have a lot left over, I just kind of trash them. All right, so that's what the bow looks like. Okay, and then this is that little button loop, right? I'm just going to kind of make that that center loop. Okay. All right, so then now we're going to get this mess out of the way. And we're going to put this on our wreath. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so then I'm just going to take the bow. Now, we might need to move that sign down a little bit. You don't want to tie the bow down. Um, 10, 20, 25 yards is total. So I want the bow to sit on the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to feed it through the mesh. You don't want to like pull it so hard that it pulls down into the, the wreath. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to tighten it before you fluff it. You want to make sure you fluff it first. Oh, thanks. All right. So again, now let me show you. If you pull on this, you can pull that bow right into the wreath, and you don't want to do that. You want your bow to sit on top of your wreath. So you don't want to pull that, wreath, that bow down, okay? So you want to make sure it sits on top, and not um, pulls down into your wreath. Okay, and I'm just going to twist that around there. And then finish fluffing. Hopefully that's done bleeding. Whoops. Oh, thanks. All right, so that should be good now. All right. Finally. Hopefully. Okay. So. So that's what you want to do. You don't want it to sink down into your wreath. All right. And then you have all of these. And I think I'm going to end up pulling that wreath, the sign down a little bit. Now, you can make these shorter or longer. Whatever you want, you can roll them up. You can cut them off if you want. Totally up to you. If you do, if you kind of grab it from right near there and kind of, it kind of curls it too. And I think I'm going to cut those a little shorter. Okay.
Okay, you can leave them long, you can cut them shorter, whatever you want. Okay, now we have these lovely picks. Okay, so what we're going to do with these is we're going to put some in the bow. We're going to put some around the wreath. So it comes like this, and all you need to do is cut this apart, and you can cut all of these um, and use all of them separately, okay? And I do need my hot glue for this. Let me turn that on. Okay, so like I said, you just cut that apart and then you can use each of these pieces separately, okay? And you just keep cutting because it's just paper on top of there that's kind of holding it together, right? Just unwind that, get them all apart. That one more time. Twenty-two dollars. Um, you know what? What you can do, Stephanie, if you can order it, if the postage is less than what it actually says, I refund you guys. Um, but what I can do is I can check into that, what the postage is, um, and I can send you an email with what the postage actually is and then you can decide um, you know you can cancel the order or you can order it if you want but where do you live Stephanie because usually it's not more than I mean fifteen dollars unless you live pretty far away but it's usually right around that the live just stopped try going out and coming back in all right so now what we're gonna do is we're going to use these little cute little curly cues and we're going to put them in the bow Okay, so you want to put a good amount of glue on here. Okay, so I just put it right on there. And then you kind of want to put it right in the bow. And if you put it on the ribbon, it's really going to kind of grab on and it won't come out. All right, so we're just going to put these around the bow. different spots put it underneath some you just kind of want to have it grab onto that ribbon okay grab a white one all right put this in here Kind of want to just hold it there for a little bit so it doesn't let go. Grab another blue one. Oh no! I hope your hubby's okay. Yeah, um, yes, I did. Did I? Yeah. Yeah, I think I did a live. I know I did a live on it. I just can't remember if I did it in group or in here. Okay, so you're just going to kind of use these here and there. Um, the Oh no, the glue pots are like if you do a lot of florals, um, something like that, it's easier to use than the glue gun to be honest. And I have one in the back there I can show you guys. Okay. So you're just going to kind of place these here and there all around your bow. You don't have to use all of them on your bow. You can use some of them other places too. Because we have that other pick also. I'm going to put this one down there. Okay. 
Yeah, it definitely needs to be lowered. Yeah. And you know, sometimes you don't know that until you put the uh, ribbon on there. All right, so I'm going to loosen that sign a little bit and move it down. There it is. Yes, I'm definitely moving the sign down. Yeah. Yep, I'm going to slide that down a little bit. Loosen this side. Thank you. You got it on there so good it doesn't want to come off. It does not want to come down. Oh, there you are. Okay. Goodness gracious. It does not want to come out. There we go. Okay. Or not our I put that sign in there good. Um, my glue gun is from Amazon. Holy Toledo. Can't get that one out. There we go. That one didn't want to come off. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's see. This one's up here. So, and sometimes, you know, you don't know your sign needs moved around until you do it. So, and that's okay. All right, so I'm going to move this down a little bit. I'm going to slide those off too. You have a hard time getting your signs on. Move that one down and this one down. One more, you guys. Um, if I have enough of the ribbon left, you can once I sell all the kits. But I won't know that until all the kits are sold. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, I'm going to slide it down. And move it down this way. I had that tied on there so good it doesn't want to move off. All right, so I'm just going to slide it down like that and reattach. <laughs> I know, right, Cheryl? It's hiding. Oh, it does? Yeah, my, I mean, it does drip some, but it's not too bad. Get these ribbons and move them down. Oh, awesome, Colleen! Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you for your order. Okay, that's better. All right, let me tighten that up. Move these. You like the black and decker? Yeah, I like my Black & Decker. I um, had the Royobi. Someone sent me, and I didn't like it as much, to be honest. Oh, thank you, Linda. Okay. Get those ribbons out. One more to go. One more to go. There it is. Okay. Last one here. Whew, that one didn't want to come off. Well, that's a good thing, right? Okay. So, there you go. There's your bow. All right, so then we have this other pick as well. So, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to cut that one apart and use the pieces. Just be careful.
careful when you're doing this. You don't cut yourself. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. I know this is taking me a little longer than it normally does, guys. But when I do the kit, um, I like to kind of do it from start to finish so you guys can see it. Um, the group is $14.99 a month. Okay. Whew. Hey, Sandy. It's not want to come apart. All right. Okay. And then you can use these separately or together and then again you just want to where my little things go okay and then you can kind of tuck them in with the where that is hit it with a little glue so it doesn't want to come out of there and then what I do is I take my pipe cleaners and I roll them so that it looks like it's a little more decorative okay okay so put that one there so I'm going to put one of these over here here um, if you type in group you will get um, oh thanks Judy you will get um, a message from my bot and then you just um, t do what the bot tells you and then um, it'll take you right to the um, PayPal to set up your monthly payment for that. Okay, so then we're going to curl that one like that. All right. We're going to take some of these little things and put them in. Okay. Just kind of hit that with a little bit of I kind of tie it in with the twist tie really good and then I hit it with a little glue so that um, it's not going to come out. And that way you know it's not going to go anywhere. No, not a lot. Just a little bit to hold it in there. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. All right. And then we have still some of these. So let's put a white one over here. Oh, thank you, Nancy. Again, I'm just going to wrap that around there like that. And then I am going to hit it with a little glue so it doesn't come out. Hey, Dee, how are you? And that's not going to go anywhere. And then just curl it up. Right. Okay, and we'll put another white one over here. Thanks, Kathleen. Alright, so again, I'm just going to wrap that pipe cleaner right around it, and then I will hit it with some glue. So we know it's not. I did the ruffles in this. Oh, no problem, Judy. I don't want them to fall apart, that's for sure. <laughs> Just tuck that in. 
And like these can be pulled out so you can make them longer or you can push them in, make them shorter. However you want the wreath to look like. All right. So look, isn't that cute? It's coming along. I love it. All right, we'll put a blue one over here. <laughs> it is. It is almost time to put up your Easter wreath. I know, right? I know you look at these sometimes and you're like, I don't want to put them outside. But that's what's nice about these. You can hang them on the inside. Ouch, just got glue on my finger. I hate when that happens. All right. Okay, I think we're just about done. Put some of these over here. Thank you, thank you. I did 20 inch ruffles, Melissa. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. I think that's pretty much it. I think, I think, I think. Oh, awesome, Judy. All right. And then, of course, you just want to go back and... Fix your bow, because it probably got smashed adding all that stuff. And fix your, your streamers here. Oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. So you can get this kit available in my Etsy shop, or if you want to purchase this one already made, you can do that. Okay. I think we are done, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think? Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. Okay. I did finish the elephant. Yes, I did. We even have some stuff left over we could use if you want to. All right, so that is our patriotic kit. So if you want to buy the kit, you can get it in my Etsy shop. Um, the, the price for this this will be 65. The completed kit is 65. So if anybody's interested, let me know. I will post pictures of it once I get it all ready to go. But if anybody wants it before I put it in my shop, let me know and I'll send you the link. There you go. All right, guys, that's it for tonight. Sorry I kept you a little long, like I said, but when I do the kit. Oh, you did? Awesome! Um, I like to, you know, show you guys a little more everything. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions um, or if you want the wreath kit, just go ahead to my Etsy shop. If you want this wreath, let me know, and we'll get it to you. Thanks, Kathy. I'm feeling better already. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful evening. I will see you hopefully Thursday night. All right, guys. Bye.